There are some details about this uh, comet. It's called Comet C2023P1, otherwise known as Comet Nishimura. Now, we'll be moving close to the Earth through the week, and it'll be the early morning object pretty much through about September 11th, so about a week from now. Then will transition to more of an evening object as we head later into the month. And it'll be on its closest approach around September 12th, only about 79 million miles away. It's closer than the sun. And its closest approach to the sun will be on the 17th. That's when it should be the brightest in the sky. There will be some caveats on how to view this, though, as we take a look at that now. Now, through September 11th, we want to look to the east in the pre-dawn sky after about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning until the sun comes up. Look for Venus. That's going to be the brightest object in the sky, with the exception of the moon, obviously. And look to the left of it, about 3 or 4 degrees. It'll be right in that area. But we'll be getting a little bit lower each day as we head toward the 10th and the 11th. And as we head toward the 12th, it'll transition to more of an, an evening object. Look to the western horizon after sunset. It'll be at its brightest then, but it could be kind of difficult to see especially uh, since we have a lot of ambient life left over from sunset, but if it has a tail on it, you may be able to pick it up with the naked eye. Now, a few quick tips on how to view this. Obviously, go to a dark place, let your eyes adjust to the darkness, but the best way to see any kind of a comet will be with either binoculars, a telescope, or a camera. And if you want to take a picture of it, you want to use a longer exposure, say about 8 to 10 seconds or more, to really pick up those details. Well, happy stargazing, everybody.